自由。Alright, so it's 6am in Tokyo. We're gonna have a small detour before we go to studio for tonight. I'm gonna go roughly two hours outside of Tokyo to go and see Hakone, which is a mountainous area known for like onsen, volcanic activity, I think. I'm actually not too sure. I'm just gonna have a look around, see what we can find. Ah! had this beat idea in my head for a while as you probably saw i went on a cool boat the boat looked pretty cool it's been a while since i've seen that much water kind of reminded me of sante's album like out the blue so i'm kind of tempted to make a sante nux type beat with the idea that i have so if i'm trying to do that bpm of roughly like 156 i might use a rhodes piano chorus maybe I have no idea what to do for a second chord. It sounds cool, but it's not really being played by a human, so I'm gonna randomize velocities a little bit, lower them. I'm thinking a lot about the top line melody. It sounds like a synth or some sort of clarinet or something. So I might look for a sample that sounds similar. I don't think I've used Tracklib on the channel yet, so I might try Tracklib. Will this be a video where I just don't use Splice at all? Is that possible? Monthly digs. Ah. not really what I'm looking for, but I am going to download that one. That one sounds hard. Uh. Okay, I don't really like the vocals on that, but that's fine because we can always like stem separate it. 134 BPM. Tracklib has never once been right about the BPM, I'm not going to lie. I, ju I just don't trust it anymore. It's not even close to 134 BPM. Maybe it is 134 BPM. That oboe sounds crazy. I don't think I've ever sampled an oboe before. I don't know, it's not a very aesthetic instrument, is it really? So I'm gonna extract the stems from sample and then I'll put it back together again, probably bounce it out. in there as well. Alright, so the plan is I'm gonna put that back to 156 roughly. I'm gonna open up Edison, bounce it out. Okay, it does not sound that good. <laughs> the keyboard needs to be tucked in the background a little bit. whack a half time on here as well as a secret tool to use for later and for the keys like it's basically not even a keyboard anymore whack into fruity slicer
it is cool up here but like it just reeks bro it, like it smells disgusting bro because of all the sulfur coming down from the volcano it smells like the inside of a pirate studio i think i'm gonna explore a bit more either way i can't stay here for too long though yeah why not why not man why not i'll see what that sounds like with the keyboard first yeah yeah all right that's fine it only took 25 minutes Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. really having to lock in for this hi-hat pattern, I don't know why. Maybe some triplets at the end, I don't know. I think for the second part we're just going to change a few of the octaves. Am I doing too much? I'm not sure. I might throw some delay on that, no? Maybe? Some pan man on that? I don't know, I think there's a lot going on in the melody, so I'm gonna keep the bass line pretty simple. Probably gonna hit it with a Zay, like a spin Zay to wait, probably. like a roll here somewhere. Maybe it sounds better with a kick. I don't know if I'm feeling that right now. Very complex, very intellectual bass pattern for sure. Okay, last thing I'm gonna add, there is some sort of like arpeggiated instrument. I don't really know what it is, but I wanna add my own harp because I know in the reference track there's harps everywhere. I'm gonna use one from Contact. There's one that sounds really ambient and really nice. I think it's Spellbound. 10 out of 10 game, by the way. Yeah, it sounds very ambient, very, I don't know, cute, quirky, whatever you want to call it. I might move a couple of the notes around, but I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna bounce that out for now.
Okay, okay. All right, I think I have the basic idea down. I've added a few automation clips with halftime, just add some variation. At certain points in the beat, I drop the melody by an octave. Like to this day, I still don't know what the guy at the beginning is saying. I don't even know what language it is. Yeah, we've got a bit of studio time left, so let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 